The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 17, verses 1 to 6. Jesus said to his disciples, Obstacles are sure to come, but alas for the one who provides them. It would be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a milestone put round his neck than that he should lead astray a single one of these little ones. Watch yourselves. If your brother does something wrong, reprove him, and if he is sorry, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times a day, and seven times comes back to you and says, I am sorry, you must forgive him. The apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, Were your faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, every person holds a character in life. These characters are not by birth, but they become, they are made. In life we imitate people. In life we read people, we know people. And sometimes we take them as role models. And therefore what we become later is mostly what the other is. But St. Paul tells in his letter to Titus that when you appoint leaders in place to place, community to community, be careful and appoint people with a good character. People who can understand others, people who are not aggressive themselves, people who do not get angry easily, people who don't drink, people who don't mislead others so that they can take people along with the true faith in Jesus Christ. And we see in the Gospel reading from Luke chapter 17, verses 1 to 6, how Jesus says, it is better for that man to have a milestone tied in his neck and thrown into the water or sea because the milestone will not bring him back to life again. And this could be because there are some people who don't mind destroying the character of others, especially those of the innocent, the children. They destroy their character. They mislead them in life. Therefore, Jesus says, it is better for that person to die rather than lead all people to hell. And then he says, If your own brother wrongs you, you must go and reprove. And if he comes back to you and says sorry, forgive him. And if he comes even seven times, having wronged seven times, seven times comes back to you asking pardon and forgiveness, you have to forgive him seven times. Which means any person in life asking you pardon for whatever wrong done to you, 
you must immediately forgive. And therefore, the Christian forgiveness is this, to whatever wrong may be done to us, unto us, we should be readily and willingly accepting the forgiveness of others and giving forgiveness to others. And at this time, the disciples of Jesus asked him, make us people of faith. And he says, if you have a little faith, just as the size of the mustard seed, you will have attained eternal life. Hence, faith, little is enough. Of that size of the mustard seed, which is so tiny, that faith will save us. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be people with the character that we can lead one another in the church and in any leadership. Let us be people with a character, with an example to help them enter into the kingdom of God. Let us have an attitude of forgiveness and forgiving others when they wrong and ask for forgiveness. Let us have that little faith that Jesus says that we all enter into the kingdom of God with this little faith we have. Yes, my dear friends, let us seek for God's help and assistance at this time so that we may be true persons of Christ, giving witness to what we live. Amen.